Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going over the best way to use Google Tasks so that you can have the best possible experience with the platform. So for those of you who don't know, Google Tasks is a list management service that automatically comes with your Google account. You'll find it on the right sidebar in both your Gmail inbox and your Google Calendar. Now one thing that makes this a very useful service, aside from the fact that you can manage your tasks right from your Gmail inbox, is you are able to download a mobile app and sync all of your tasks right to your phone. You can download this app on Google Play. Another useful feature is the ability to sync your Google Tasks with your Google Calendar. So as you can see, these dates that I have set on my Google Tasks which you can set by clicking the pencil icon that I did. And you can set it here. You can even make it repeating if you want to. They will show up on your Google Calendar if you have the tasks checkbox checked. Now the downside to Google Tasks right now, unlike pretty much any other Google platform you're familiar with, like Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Calendar even, even Google Keep, you cannot share your tasks or lists with other people. And that has been a feature I've been looking for for a long time. Aside from that, I've also been looking for a full screen version of Google Tasks where I can manage all these lists kind of from one area instead of clicking each one separately. So what I'm going to go over right now are Google Task Clients. Now what these are, is these are third-party apps for the most part that will read your Google Tasks and display them to you in a new and unique way and will also present new features to your Google Tasks while also syncing to the original Google Task application on your sidebar in your Gmail account and also to the app on your phone. So I'm going to go over these one by one and explain how they work and which ones I believe to be the best. So let's get started. So first off, we have what you already know about, which is the sidebar in Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, etc., and Google Calendar. So I just want to take a moment to show you that it is, in fact, in all of these. And... In Google Docs, you need to be in an actual document to see it, but here you are. You can scroll through your lists as usual. Now, before I leave this method of do doing it, I do want to point out that one feature that exists when using it in the sidebar that does not in third-party clients is, number one, adding recurring dates. So if I want to make this repeat once a week, I can do that easily twice a week. Monday, Wednesday, etc. You cannot do that with any other app that I found thus far. Also, you are not able to set in a specific time with other apps as you are here. So that said, I'm going to continue to the other third-party apps that I have listed. So first up is, well, Google Tasks itself, and it's not a third-party app, so that might have been misleading. However, this is something that a lot of people are looking for, and I have the link down in the description below. Um, this is pretty much the exact same thing as everywhere else, except it's full page. So this has all the same features. As you can see, this is from Google, so it's not a third-party application, but it is definitely a workaround just to get to this full screen. Um, obviously, this would not be my method of choice. I mean, since there's Obviously, just a bunch of blank space here. You need to move your cursor all the way over to this side just to add a description, all the way over here to delete, all the way, you know. There's a lot of space, but it's not being used. So, preferably, I would just rather the, the lists in the sidebar than even use this. But if this is something that you'd find use, useful, then go for it. Now, secondly, we have Tasks Board. And to save you time, I have saved the best for first. Now, Task Board is a third-party application. It is on the G Suite Marketplace. It is also a Chrome extension. You do not need the Chrome extension, but it is useful to have. Now, as you can see here, I am on the Task Board website, and instead of having all of my lists like this, where I have to actually select each one to view them, I can actually see them side by side 
and just scroll over like this. There is also a vertical view where you can scroll down and see them all in this form. I personally prefer the horizontal view. Now, this is really the only method I have found of sharing Google Tasks. Um, you can actually share a whole list and have it synced with your phone and also your, your Google Task application on the side of your Gmail home bar, as well as your phone if you have the app. It makes it super easy to use. However, um, there is a pro version and a free version. When you have the free version, you are limited to sharing one list, which for me has so far been enough for what I need it for personally, which is sharing a list with my school account so that I can manage it on a separate computer as well. However, for those who are looking to share more lists than just one, you may be interested in the pro version, which is only $3.30 a month. And for that, you'll get unlimited list sharing, as I mentioned. You'll also get um, labels, and you'll be able to label, for example, uh, the priority of your tasks. Um, you can add backgrounds, and my most desired feature, which I probably am going to upgrade for this, is um, the ability to have multiple boards. So if you're running you know, different uh, projects, this one right here is going to be uh, a very useful feature because you'll be able to have, um, say, a board that has list A, list A and B, and another board that just has A and a few others, depending on, you know, maybe two different groups of people are working on the same projects and some different projects. So this is going to be a very nice um, feature to have. Um, but even the free version is a huge upgrade from what Google Task in itself provides. And that said, Tasks Board is my number one recommendation for a Google Tasks client. Now, moving on to the next option, I have what's called Full Screen for Google Cat Google Tasks. Now, this is an extension um, you can per you can get from the Chrome Web Store. It's free, and as you can see, I have it pinned over here. This is a close tie to Tasks Board. Um, it does not have a sharing feature and it does not have a lot of the features that Tasks Board does, especially their pro version. However, I do like this interface. Um, I like the ability to simply click here um, without having to tap edit before um, changing the details, which you had to do both in the normal Google Tasks and uh, Tasks Board. So I do appreciate the ability to navigate through here a little bit better. Um, also, it's got the, the list sidebar over here. Um, as you can see, I'm in dark mode. This is what it would normally look like. I like the dark mode much better. That's one of the things that really drew me to this. Um, to be honest, I, I don't feel like it's a competition between this and Task Board. I feel like they um, complement each other. They both have their own unique features, and I use them both just as much, to be honest. Again, if you're interested in the link where you can find this, please check the description below. I have the links for all of these Google Task clients. So those were the big ones. Those are the ones that I highly recommend. There are two that I still have to cover. Um, these I'll cover simply because they exist. They're not my personal favorites, but because I came across them, I thought it couldn't hurt to compare them. So this one right here is GQ's. It's got a decent amount of features, however, um, as far as I can tell, there is only a free trial. It says it up here on the, on the top bar and over here right under the logo. It also has a slightly clunky interface and, you know, it looks like something that Google might have came out with maybe, I don't know, six or seven years ago. Aside from that, um, I don't believe there is real-time syncing like you can import from your Google Tasks but making changes here won't reflect in your original Google Tasks even though you can share it with others it won't the changes will not reflect back here when someone else or you makes those changes in here which is why I don't particularly recommend this platform but maybe you'll find it useful the next one is G Tasks D which is probably um, slightly better than the last option simply because a it is free and b it presents um, all of your google tasks in a manner which is slightly easier to go through 
Also, unlike the last option, this option does sync um, in real time with your original Google Tasks application on your sidebar. Honestly, the interface isn't the best, but it does work. Now, in terms of sharing this with other people, I have not been successful in figuring out how to do that if there is a way. So I'm honestly not sure in what way this would be better than the original Google Tasks, but again, um, if you're able to find it helpful, then that's good. So hopefully this video was helpful to you if you're looking for a better way to manage your Google Tasks from a desktop application, or if you're looking to share your Google Tasks with others. Again, the links to these services are below in the description. Please leave a comment if there are any services that I missed or that you think are um, better. I would be very open to hearing them. Again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. See you next time.